I just learned that particles coming from space are useful. So they're called cosmic rays, and we've definitely talked about them before. Essentially, they're particles like protons, neutrons, electrons, or photons that come from deep space and smack into the Earth. They're really nothing to worry about, it's just a thing that happens all the time. But it turns out that, if you're clever enough, you can actually make use of the fact that these particles hit the Earth on a pretty consistent basis. When these particles slam into rocks, occasionally they break up the nucleus of an atom, changing it into something else. This is called cosmic ray spallation, and this process can be used to figure out how long ago various geological processes happened. For example, take quartz, which is silicon dioxide and also the second most abundant mineral on the Earth's crust. When a proton strikes an oxygen nucleus, it has a chance to break off a piece of it, turning it into a certain unstable beryllium nucleus. Similarly, when a silicon nucleus is hit by a proton, it can do the same and you end up with an unstable aluminum nucleus. And because these nuclei are not stable enough to have formed in the quartz, because it all would have decayed away by then, we can use the presence and abundance of these nuclei to figure out, for example, how long ago a piece of quartz was brought to the surface. That's because these processes only happen if a sample is exposed to the cosmic rays, which just don't penetrate very deeply. Alternatively, because we know how fast they decay, we can use the relative abundances to figure out how long ago a quartz crystal was buried in, for example, a rock slide. There's a lot of really cool science that can be done by studying these so-called cosmogenic nuclides, and we have space to thank for it.